In spite of efforts to fulfill the mandate of the Disability Commission, the Executive Secretary, National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, has disclosed that the Commission is committed to providing free medical services for people with disabilities in Nigeria. Dr. James Lalu speaking to journalists in Abuja at the launching of Telemedicine, a free medical outreach for persons with disabilities and orphans organized by Soteria Afrique Rural Healthcare Initiative in collaboration with Poverty and Disability Initiative of Nigeria Pardon, supported by the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, kick-started the project in the disability colony in Karo Majiji of the AFCT. Lalu said the free medical outreach is targeted to strengthen the healthcare delivery system for persons with disabilities as the organization is providing free medical intervention as well as surgery under the few days. He noted that the Commission is providing all necessary budgetary support and logistics to accomplish the purpose, which will cascade to the 36 states of the Federation. Their willingness and interest to contribute to their quota in providing access to free health care services for persons with disabilities in Nigeria it truly falls exactly within the mandate of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. Therefore, we have no any other alternative than to make sure that we collaborate strongly together with them to make sure that this program kickstart here in Nigeria, especially from the beginning. We are starting here at the Karoma GG, covering the FCT. This organization is providing total free healthcare services. It starts from provision of medical intervention as well as surgery and other things that will undergo within the few days that they will be here to provide these services. And based on their commitment, their interest is to make sure that these services are provided to cover the 36 states of the Federation. The National Commission for Persons with Disabilities will make all the necessary logistic support and budgetary provisions to ensure that we work together with them to make sure that we provide these access to services for the disability community in the 36 states of the Federation. So the items that she mentioned that uh, we are going to use to execute this, uh, uh, the telemedicine, we are, they are all going to be domiciled here in the Karamajiji Disability Colony. They are all going to be here. So that any patient that is sick, he can easily meet with these trained persons, communicate with them. Our doctors are over there that, that is going to you know, consult and tell them the issues. You know, you know, you know telemedicine is a communication, two-way communication. The patient is here and the doctor is over there. So they communicate and the doctor can now tell them what and what to do. We have um, discovered the limitations that people with disability have, especially in the area of accessing healthcare. And so we came up with um, the, uh, the, the pet project, telemedicine to bring telemedicine whereby these people can communicate with their doctors, with their medical personnel in the privacy of their community. They don't have to travel that far to go to the hospital, but they can just, it's just a phone call away and they have a presence with their doctor. From consultation to um uh, tests to seeing the doctor to medicine to operation we they are all given for free in the community where the person is because some other people some people when you say they should uh, go to hospital even the money to 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 go to hospital is not available so we found it very good that we partnered with Pedin because they were thinking to establish telemedicine our own this outreach is a prelude to a hospital that we intend to establish in their midst here for free, absolutely free. And the, what we are going to provide in this outreach is all the things that we have enumerated all for, for free so far. The telemedicine is targeted to bring free medical health care services to the PWDs as they will be receiving free malaria treatment, free surgery and cataract, appendicitis among others with at least 1,000 people with disabilities and the less privileged in Karamajiji in FCT.